could do you more harm than good. As the funeral was underway in Montreal, Kevin O'Leary sent out a tweet with a link. It was an old video newly posted on the Conservative Leadership Candidate's Facebook page showing O'Leary shooting high-powered weapons. But why was it reposted today? Who was behind it? And what was the intended message? Those were all questions Catherine Cullen went to get answered. Kevin O'Leary likes attention, even controversy. But it seems he regrets posting a link to this video. Look at that thing smoking. While the public funeral for three shooting victims was underway. The post of the year-old video included some crowing about O'Leary's skills as a marksman. The timing made some people uncomfortable. Uh, this was not the right week to, uh, to talk about that. Crass, insensitive and exceedingly dumb. I don't think it's appropriate, but the Kevin O'Leary has a whole list of those things. O'Leary apparently decided it was inappropriate too. About two hours later, he tweeted, Out of respect for today's service, I have taken down my last post. His campaign doesn't want to talk about the message they hope to send with the video. They'll only say the timing was a mistake. We got our lines crossed up. And again, this is something that we had no intention on offending anybody. And we have no intention on showing any disrespect. Another leadership candidate who just last week accused O'Leary of demonizing gun owners today questions whether O'Leary realized what he was doing. Uh, to have a, a tweet in social media on a day when there's funerals just shows a remarkable lack of judgment and shows you have to be in the country to understand the mood of the country. In fact, O'Leary was in New York closing the stock exchange. He also owns a home in Boston and he's not saying how much time he spends in Canada. And that is what might be most damaging about all of this for O'Leary, says this Conservative. It fits into the narrative that some of the candidates ha who are against him have launched, that he has poor political judgment, that he risks ruining the Conservative Party, and that he is just visiting to copy a well-worn successful political attack phrase. And sure enough, another leadership candidate, Lisa Raitt, tweeted that mistakes like this will cost the Conservative Party dearly in the next election. The truth is that O'Leary is popular and his opponents will almost certainly want to bring up this misstep again. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.